I'm Scott Hubbard. I'm a professor at the Stanford University Department of Aeronautics and Astronautics. And I'm delighted to be here at the Global Innovation Conference. In my work at Stanford, I focus on two areas. One, planetary exploration, especially Mars. And two, being the director of the Stanford Center of Excellence for Commercial Space Transportation. And it's in that latter role that I do a lot of work in innovation and entrepreneurship because what we're trying to do is carry out studies and do research to help the Federal Aviation Administration in the U.S. figure out what should be the rules and the guidelines to encourage, facilitate, and promote entrepreneurship in the space arena in the U.S. And I find this a very fascinating activity. We have some great students. We're looking at some uh, really important questions. Uh, one in particular is how do you integrate space traffic with air traffic? You know, in the, uh, the U.S. alone, there's over 40,000 flights a day of aircraft. If we really start launching uh, commercial space for tourism uh, every day, maybe several times a day, how do we put these two systems together? So I'm interested in innovation, entrepreneurship, training students, doing research, uh, and I find the uh, IAF-sponsored conference we're having to be uh, really valuable and quite interesting. Thank you very much. Um, what do you think are the challenges of uh, space entrepreneurship? Globally, the challenges of space entrepreneurship, I think, are not only technical, they're also organizational and even cultural. Uh, many different groups have come to Stanford University in Silicon Valley in an attempt to learn the secret sauce uh, to figure out how Silicon Valley works and then attempt to reproduce that in their own country. And, and of course, there's no way to exactly replicate any given model. You have to tune the model in a given country for that country's history and culture and resources and so forth. Nevertheless, I think there are certain common themes that have emerged or that will emerge that almost any group can use. Thank you very much. Would you like to share a message to the IF community, especially young students and young entrepreneurs? Mm -hmm. Well, to the IF community, particularly the young folks and the uh, people who are my students who are now out there uh, working or maybe will be in a, in a few years, I think we're at a very, very interesting time, maybe even an inflection point, a knee in the curve, where space is moving from uh, having a significant government um, encouragement or, uh, or government stimulus to having much more private involvement. And I think this is very exciting. I think that uh, maybe we're going to see uh, a time when personal space flight will no longer be a dream but become a reality and uh, maybe where you too will be able to uh, take a flight to space or maybe even to Mars someday. Great, thank you very much.